Graduation. What a special time. I'm scared shitless. I don't know how this happened. Everything was going just fine, and suddenly, I have to graduate. Part of me hopes that I will graduate, but another part of me is like, no, I don't want to go out there. Shit is so real in the real world. I'm having what you could call an early life crisis. I don't have a job, and so I don't know where I'm going to be living a month from now. It's a month from now. My parents keep asking, what am I going to do with all my things? I'm going to lock myself into this room and never let anybody enter. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to be a squatter. A while ago, I made a video entitled, Stop Asking Me About My Future. I suspect that a lot of people did not watch that video because people still ask me what I'm going to do. Obsessed. It's not their fault. No, it's not. It's not. They care, you know, but it gives me crippling anxiety. I know that you're wondering about my future because everybody is. I took the LSAT, the LSAT as some call it. It was traumatizing. I might go to law school. I happened to read uh, some of your comments the other day and a surprising number of you were like, oh, don't, don't be something boring like a lawyer. <sighs> Oops. I don't know. I don't know if that's what I want to do because frankly, I'm, I'm not really legally inclined in my everyday life. I stole a fork this weekend from the Radisson Blue. If someone orders an Uber, I often pretend to be too drunk to be able to accept the rideshare thing. I'm like, oh yeah, share with me, I'll get it. And then does it's not breaking the law, but it's it's like it's it's in that it's in that territory. Between you and me, what I would really like to do is something like what I'm doing right now, and that is talk to myself. It's a hard industry to break into. I need an income is the thing. That's really the problem here and I'm already not doing so well financially. Paying my bills is something that I fail to do very often. First they charge me late fees and then they start charging me interest on all my purchases. I signed something that agreed that that was okay but it doesn't feel okay now. I hope that Bernie will go and break the banks up. I think he will, I think he will. Whether he's present or not, he is passionate about it. I don't know how, I don't know how he's gonna do it. Few people know how he's gonna do it, but he's gonna do it. Both Bernie and I might need jobs next year and the banks are not on our side. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to be out there and paying all kinds of different bills. All kinds of different bills. I'm not ready for it. I took an introductory economics class, okay? And I still, I don't know why my balance is so outstanding. Where do I even look for apartments? Craigslist? I don't want something permanent. I will no longer have my roommate. She might be happy about that, but I can't zip my jacket by myself. I, it gets stuck. She knows the zipper. She knows how to do it. If it gets caught and I need her, I'll be walking around out there. The terrible credit score and my jacket just zipped like awkwardly a third of the way. Or stuck up to here. Anything can happen. I have this irrational fear that I'm going to start eating like taco shells, like raw tortillas. And I won't realize that it's happening until suddenly I'm like malnourished and I'm like, whoa, all I've eaten this past year is tortillas. If you have a job and you're willing to give it up, PM me, personal message me, or public message. I don't, I'd, I, beggars can't be choosers. I don't really know who I am.